A foot and mouth disease could cost our farmers hundreds of millions of dollars. But authorities are warning another virus is on the doorstep of Australia, which could be just as problematic to cattle. The coast is watching Indonesia's foot and mouth disease outbreak very closely. Farmers are reviewing their biosecurity measures and Australia Zoo has already started taking precautions to protect its animals. The possibility of it getting in is not zero. That's why it's a real concern. Farmer Tony Scott lives in the Kandanga region, which is densely populated by hundreds of small farms. If we were to shut down a 50 kilometre radius of an outbreak here, that affects a lot of people. It could affect, you know, four or five hundred farms, whereas if it happened out in far western Queensland, it might only affect one. Tim has an ace up his sleeve to prepare his business for the worst. He has individual DNA samples of his cattle to prove if they're healthy. If there is an issue with a, some meat turning up in some market, we can test that meat and prove that it does or doesn't um, uh, relate to our, our production. An outbreak could cut locals off from international markets, forcing farmers to sell their meat locally for cheap. But Regional Development Australia is warning of another danger with an outbreak of lumpy skin disease also in Indonesia.